Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So today's subject was given to me by you guys, the subscribers. So I asked a question, lead, um, well, I asked a question and it led to this video. So, um, and the, the video has the word lead in it. Okay. So men love it when a woman allows them to lead. So this was one of you guys' suggestions when I asked in the question on the community section. So thank y'all for the subject. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I was kind of tongue tied. I need some water. <laughs> All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. So let's get into it, right? Men love when you allow them to lead because it makes them feel more masculine. And when it makes them for, feel masculine, it lets you be more feminine. And it reminds them of being a man and what they have to do and what their purpose is. So if you're one of those women that always like to take over everything and, you know, take control of everything and are controlling or really have to have everything your specific way. You're going to have to learn how to compromise a little bit to allow that man to remember his masculinity, especially if you are in your masculine and you want to be in your feminine as a woman, you need to allow men to lead. Now, that doesn't mean any man because I said the word man, not boy. Uh oh, members in the house, Hi, Sophia, sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all become a member if y'all want to get your shout out and your cool emojis. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle, just join. Um, so you have to be a real man in order to be a leader. Whitney B's in the house, sprinkle, sprinkle. So if you're not a real man, and I know some people will argue over what is a real man and what's not, a real man is someone who can provide and protect and support his family or his woman. Okay. That's a real man. Okay. Because everything else is just company. Think about that. Um, everything else is just company. A real man provides and protects and makes sure that, you know, you, everybody's okay. So if you are not doing that in your relationships, or if you are unable to do that in a relationship, I don't consider you a real man. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, that's just my personal opinion and definition. So how many of y'all agree with that? Y'all hit the like button. <laughs> y'all hit the like button if you agree that a man ain't a man unless he can provide a protect baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Let me hit, let's see them likes. <laughs> uh oh, those likes going up quick. So, but if you meet the right type of guy, it's easy to let them lead because you're not worried about them doing something stupid or wrong or mishandling something, you know. Um, so make sure when you choose whoever you're going to be with, make sure you're also allowing them to lead or they have the ability to lead because if they can't, they're going to resent you. <laughs> they're not going to fall in love as quickly. They're not going to give you as much. They're not going to do as much for you. They're not going to allow you to live in your feminine or anything because they don't feel like a man. So you have to like give them the opportunities to leave. So for example, if no opportunities present themselves, you create some, you know, you ask questions, you ask them to help you, you ask them for advice on certain things so that they can feel like they're leading. When you're out in public, you make them make certain decisions. You, um, you ask whatever you need to ask them as if, you know, they have the answer, even if you already know the answer, because most women do. You can just play along with it because it's allowing them to feel masculine, which in turn will allow you to be feminine because they will want to protect you. They will want to lead you and make sure that everything is okay because you're putting 
your trust in their hand and now they have a responsibility. So they're going to act like they have a responsibility if you've given them one. So you have to give them what they need to feel like a man. And they love women that do that because it makes them look good in public. <laughs> you ever seen a couple when they were out and about and the man was leading the woman, holding her hand, walking all tall and strong and just being like, mm, you know, and the woman is all cute and feminine and pretty and she just looks like everything is taken care of. and She has zero worries or whatever. That's what they like to look like, like they're the leader, they're the big strong man, and they have this really pretty, you know, feminine woman. That's what men love others to perceive them as this type of, you know, strong leader. And it also reflects on everything else in their life. If they feel like a strong leader at home, they're going to feel like a strong leader in the workplace or in their field of business or whatever they do. They're going to have more confidence in themselves. And therefore, instead of um, saying everything is wrong, there's not enough or whatever, they're going to see a more positive side of life and they're going to have more confidence in themselves, which means they're going to attempt to do more, to earn more, okay, to give you more. So that's why I say men love it when you allow them to be in their masculine. Now, there are some boys out there that want to trade places with a woman and want the woman to be the masculine leader and let them be the prize and be, you know, a well-kept, you know, guy or whatever. But that's only for those women that can't adjust out of that masculinity and into their femininity. And I feel like for the purpose of there's someone for everyone, there's all women aren't going to be this, you know, feminine type of creature because some are too masculine to change. So let those feminine men and those masculine women find each other and maybe they can balance each other out in the future. You know, so a lot of times when a feminine woman is looking for a masculine man, what she looks for is a leader. So if you're not naturally a leader, you're not going to attract a feminine woman. <laughs> this means when you guys ask us out on dates or pl make plans, you have to put the plans out there. You have to do all of this, the leading. OK, you don't just leave it in our hands. You don't just say, you know, you're not indecisive. You're like, this is what I want. This is where we're going. Be ready at this time. That's a leader, and that means you have everything under control. Da, 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 da. But also, you have to take into our consideration what we like as well. So, you can't just tell us, I'm taking you out, we're going to Applebee's, I got a coupon, because that doesn't work. <laughs> you have to appeal to our senses as well, because a leader is not taking nobody, no Applebee's, okay? Period. So, plan out, save up if you have to, I don't know. Save Applebee's for pick Bisha or give, you know, but not the type of woman that <laughs> you probably really want. Okay. Uh oh, Takesha Sprinkle Sprinkle in the hands. Remember, y'all know he's messing with y'all, throwing some humor in there. <laughs> a lot of women are too masculine to change and they can't let a man lead. They're afraid. Okay, let me tell you. Because I don't think too many people get into this. Masculine women are afraid to let a man lead them because they've been burned too many times. And they can't even fake it to make it. They're so, you know, protective of themselves that they can't even fake it to make it. Okay, because a lot of women who allow men to lead are literally faking it every day. It's, it's an act. But it's an act that they can, you know, that, that's a role that they can fulfill to get what they want because they still feel like there are some men left that are able to lead and do what, what they need them to do. So there are some women who've been burned so bad, especially, you know, in the in the past, uh, older women. Uh, you said your mom, your grandma, right? In the comments. So they can't. They they feel like every time they do, it doesn't turn out well. So you're not going to change them. <laughs> so let them be. Let them be. But luckily for, 
you know, us or the younger generations uh, and the ones after that, they're able to fake it to their make it because they're now learning in advance through videos like this, what not to do, what type of man not to choose from. Because our grandmas and moms may not have had the knowledge that we have today and they just chose whoever you know, came along or was cute or showed them interest. And, you know, they didn't, their standards weren't as high because people weren't promoting having those high standards to certain women. Okay. So now that we are able to understand and live, you know, the type of lifestyles we want, have high standards and all this and that, it's easier on us. So we can fake it till we make it. We can allow a man to lead to make him feel masculine so that we can feel feminine and get what feminine women get. Uh-oh, God is wild right in the house. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all like my lipstick? Mm -hmm. Y'all better get it. It is Level Up Cosmetics. I was waiting on you all to say that. This is in the color Glow, and I mixed it. Um, well, I topped it off with Sprinkle, Sprinkle. So this is Glow and Sprinkle, Sprinkle together. And I did a little um, outline of like a brown liner. So y'all get sprinkle, sprinkle and glow. See? Mm-hmm. And sprinkle, sprinkle just lights, lightens it up and gives it a shimmer. So if you don't want the shimmer, just use glow. Thank you. Uh, the link is at the top. And I'm going to link it here for all my lip glosses. And y'all can go ahead and check out Level Lip Cosmetics. Uh, and I also... Put it in the description, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> Well-dressed men, not, not dressed better than you, but well-dressed men. Let me repeat that. Well-dressed men, but not dressed better than you, look more like leaders in masculine, okay? Because sometimes people have to realize, you know, if this, this man is dressing better than you, uh, you know, you might want to second guess that relationship, okay? Unless you're just very bad at fashion. So <laughs> that's all I'm saying. You got your brushes, Goddess Walrit? Oh, thank you. I hope you like them. Do we have to make fake scenarios to get bills paid or just say straight up? It depends on how well you know that person, if they've given you money before. If you think that they'll fall for the fake scenario, damsel in distress versus just you straight out asking. It's your judgment. You know how much that guy likes you. And so therefore you either ask straight out because you know you're going to get it or you make up fake scenarios to see if they want to help you or save you from being a damsel in distress. Okay, so it's up to you. How, how well do you know this guy? What is he willing to do for you? You know, you make the judgment because we don't know because we don't know the person. <laughs> um, you're debating with a 12 year old boy on religion and politics. And he is so knowledgeable that I your your shock. Is there a possibility if I continue conversation? I might like girl. I don't know how old you are. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's a weird question. But you know what? I'm going to let you go and delete that because we don't know your age, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you meant 22? I hope you was a typo, girl, because, you know, you just out of yourself. I don't hear. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Anyway. Uh, you, oh, you're 12? Okay. Are you 12 years old? Sprinkle, sprinkle. If y'all want to send me a gift, I have my Amazon gift list. I'm going to send in the comments as well. Okay. If you're on my Patreon, you might have my P.O. box already. And those are the only people that are going to be having it. If they got their Christmas card or if they're in the mail Patreon and they receive mail, they have my address, but this is for everyone else and the Patreon if they want to send me a gift. Sprinkle, sprinkle, because it is my birthday week. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to answer that last question. If you 12, then go for it, baby. If you ain't 12, 
delete that comment. Spark, sparkle. And take them and go take your medication and report to your probation officer. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Um, <laughs> anyway, Shira, can you talk more about keeping a man on his toes? He could, uh, keeping a man on his toes requires you to be more mysterious or don't give as much information as most women do. <laughs> and looking good. If you leave your house every day looking good, that keeps him on his toes enough. And don't always say yes. Sometimes say no to things. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Should you, men cry in front of women? Fries. Okay, fries. If a man cries in front of you and you all aren't at a funeral, <sighs> I don't know. I can't have no man breaking down weak everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I need a strong leader. I don't need somebody that's going to bust out of tears all the time unless we at the funeral. Okay? If you can't control your emotions and I can control mine better than you, uh, you're, I don't feel, I don't, I don't feel secure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Like, you said you will delete the comment. Thank you for yourself. Delete that, please. Your boyfriend booked you a suite at Versace Hotel and you was watching my videos on Versace bed. Your advice sounded awesome. On that height, on that huge plasma TV. Uh oh, D sprinkle sprinkle. Well, girl, I was in the Versace Hotel on the screen. Yes, thank you, girl. <laughs> I feel so luxurious now. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> honestly, if you uh, have a man and they are leading. Remember, they feel like a leader. So every holiday, every birthday, every event or whatever major thing that comes up in your life, he's going to feel like a leader. And so he can't drop the ball. He can't drop the ball on a holiday. He can't drop the ball on your birthday. He can't drop the ball, period, because he's the leader. And if he drops the ball, he loses his spot. OK, so most leaders want to keep their spot. Correct. So they're going to do more. They're going to put in more effort to stay in that position with you. Okay. Um, face what? The last two guys dated that you didn't seem that interested in them. It backfired and didn't keep them guessing. Okay. Um, well, honestly, you, it's a chemistry thing and it's a numbers game. If they're trying to date you for free and they're not super de duper attracted to you, they're not going to chase as hard. So this is why I'm saying your target is super important. They, you need, they need to look like they are dreaming when they see you in person. That's what they need to look like. They need to look like they don't even supposed to be with you and they, this is a dream come true. That's what they're, that's what they're really, you know, you're supposed to be more than them. You're supposed to be so that anything you ask them, they're going to say yes to. Those are the correct targets. If you have to work super de duper hard on get, keeping a man's attention or keeping them on their toes, they're not really that interested. Okay. So this is why I'm saying choose the correct targets. If you want that type of treatment, normal, regular men, if you're trying to impress them, get in line, baby. Because they're supposed to be trying to impress us. And if you and that pick Misha line over there are trying to impress other uh, men, then you're doing this all backwards. Men are supposed to impress us. If they don't feel like we're interested in them, that's because they want stuff for free. Okay. They're supposed to impress us with their wallets, their ability to lead, their ability to provide, their ability to protect. Now, if a man is sitting there whining, talking about, I don't think you're that interested in me. Um, well, I'm not supposed to be that interested in you. You're interested in me. You're supposed to chase, get the chasing or move. 
move out the way, let the next next man come through. Okay. <laughs> they didn't want you bad enough. So honestly, we can't blame the men. We have to look and see what type of targets we're allowing. Okay. And a lot of men, you know, a lot of men feel like, you know, if you're not that interested, because the younger guy, the younger you're dating, the more they're going to want everything free. The older you date, the more they pay. Okay. Just, just understand. <laughs> okay. Because you're not going to get ahead dealing with guys that are your age or that want everything free. Okay. You're 33, he's almost 60 and has a good job and owns his own business. He's already paid bills and sent money off the relationship. Need help on the next move, please? Okay. Well, the next move is literally a car. <laughs> he already paying bills. You know. He wants a relationship, so it's time to upgrade that car or after you if you decide that y'all want to live together or move in or he gets you an apartment or a house. I don't know if you already have that. But next step is something major. So major purchase. Next step. Make sure it's in your name. He's the co-signer. That way nothing, you know, can take. he can't take it from you. Okay. Next step is car or moving in. And if, if you don't like where he lives, if he doesn't like, you know, or you don't like his furniture, it's time to go shop and rearrange the stuff. Okay. I don't know how long you've known him, but, you know, the, the sooner you, you get him, the longer you're probably going to be, you know, financially stable. Um, if you want to avoid children, simple as that. What? Don't lay down with somebody if you want to avoid children. Okay. Yep. So allowing, um, allowing men to lead will also allow you to have less stress, to worry less. So you're not going to prematurely age or have, you know, issues with, you know, trust or anything like that. It's okay not to trust people, but as long as you know that you're allowing someone to lead, you can trust them enough to lead. Now, you don't have to trust people 100%, but you have enough trust in someone to allow them to lead. It's because they're doing stuff right. Okay. Um, so if your man's not doing stuff right and you don't trust him to lead, then it's time maybe to think about why you chose that person. Are men typically hesitant to lead when a woman has a child by someone else? <clears throat> it depends how young the child is. And I also feel like it depends on how much uh, she allows him in the life with that child, because some women don't introduce their children to men until they're sure that they're going to be together for a long time. So it just depends. Now, if they decide they want to be together for a long time and the child is introduced, then the, they may talk and see if, you know, it's okay to lead them, the woman and the child. Or the woman may say, look, I'm disciplining my child the way I want to. And, you know, but we'll try to compromise. It could be something like that. But somewhere, somehow, the fa other father, the real father, somewhere in that, that life. So you can't really take charge of someone else's child until you, you paying all them bills. You know, you marry to the mama and so on and so forth. So you can't lead nobody unless y'all got family you know, involved. <laughs> you said never claim anyone as your man who didn't spend on you or not. Exactly. What it means when a husband and provider doesn't lead and allows me to pick everything, he's just okay with everything. It's just considered his love language. Because first of all, he doesn't want to put in the effort and he doesn't want to make you unhappy because he doesn't know you well enough to do things the way you like them or in a way where you're going to trust what he's doing. So I, my suggestion is to mention things that you like, see if he'll lead by asking him to, to choose this time you choose and he'll think about all the stuff that he remembers you liking. And he'll be like, okay, let me consider what she likes and she wants me to decide. So 
let me go ahead and do this. So you just got to give him an opportunity. You have to tell him that you, what you want him to do and say, when he does it, be like, oh, that is so sexy. Uh, I can't believe you did this. Act extra, like act extra feminine, give him a hug, do all this extra stuff. And then he's going to start to like that feeling. He's going to start to make more decisions and become a better leader. Okay, you got to ease him into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, lead me to your bank account. You won't also. Okay. How you doing? Um, Shira, what? You said you're very confident, but a bit demanding and mean. Yes, I give them the feeling of being the man, but they know like me but they somehow like me to be out there. I don't know what out there means. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, ladies, why do, why does, okay. No, no. Some of y'all, I'm not going to be reading some of y'all's questions unless they're really relevant to the video. So make sure like if, if you're asking the people in the um, comments, that's fine. But um, <laughs> yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you motive, How do you keep motivating leveling up? The same way you get to work every day, baby. So you just go because, you know, stuff got to get done. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Like, it's a part of self-love. If you love yourself, you're going to stay leveling up. There you go. So love yourself. Make yourself a priority. It's a habit. How do you get a man to lead? By telling him to. <laughs> Um, yeah, lead means lead financially, pay them bills, <laughs> uh, emotionally, like how do you want this relationship to go mentally? Okay. Are you, are you mentally prepared to deal with the type of relationship I, you know, that is required? Are you mentally prepared to be a provider and a protector? So they lead because. Um, they lead you as far as, you know, uh, examples. Y'all want to go out one evening, right? He picks the place and he pays. But he considers you, because this is the emotional side of it, he considers you and what you like as well when he makes the choice. But he takes the lead to plan the date, to tell you what time you you, have, you better be ready. So we, I can go take you out and show off my woman, Okay. That's one example of leading. Another example of leading is paying all the bills with no problem and never asking you for nothing. That's another way. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next way is, you know, to lead by, you know, if, if a woman is being over emotional or acting funny, he's going to notice and take the lead on making whatever that is correct. OK, that's that's how a man takes the lead. They don't sit there and fiddle their and fiddle their thumbs waiting on you. OK, so. And you got to have you got to have you got to have, have something to back it up. You can't lead with nothing. OK, Uh oh, De Deanne, sprinkle, sprinkle. She just gave me a cash app. Oh, I also want to say thank you because. Um, Silk Ray. Um, I don't know if that's your name on here. I think it is Miss Silk Ray. She sent me a birthday gift and it's this stuff for my car that I wanted and it helps clean out the little crumbs and dust. And then she also sent me the hair oil. So this is from Silk Ray. So thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And thank y'all everybody who sends me gifts. I'm going to do a big collective haul of all the gifts that I got from my subscribers probably next week so y'all can see. <laughs> So, yes, allowing a man to lead makes him feel masculine, makes you feel feminine, makes you feel safe. So if it doesn't, then you can't let him lead. If you don't feel safe or feminine, then he's leading you down the wrong path. OK, <laughs> there you go. You said, what if he's a leader in public but refuses to pay bills at home? Then call him out in public. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because that ain't no leader. That's a fake leader. You know what I would do when he's trying to lead in public? I take my bills with me and hand it to him in public. See what he's gonna do. Since you all lead and stuff in public, I figure out you could pay these bills in public. I would I couldn't fake the funk with 
That's what they used to say in the old days. I couldn't fake it with somebody who's not paying no bills. You can't, I can't fake it with you. <laughs> you ain't leading nothing if you ain't paying nothing, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's like you having a nice car and you letting somebody with no car pretend it's theirs. No. <laughs> All right. So it can't be, sorry. You got to pay the cost to be the boss. Let me repeat that. He got to pay the cost to be the boss. Period. All right. Um, to what extent do we have to be agreeable? Like, can we talk about our opinions? Yeah, you can talk about your opinions. But what I, when I say lead, I mean lead, allowing him to lead as much as it takes for him to put in effort, you know, not on things that you have an opinion about. So for example, if he says, we're going on vacation this year, we need to think about some places where we want to go. I want to go here, but I don't know where y'all want to go. So let me know. And then we can all decide. But the leadership part came in is we're going on vacation this year. It's already decided, going to be paid for. Now y'all need to come up and figure out where we're going to go. And then I'll do, I'll see, you know, what we all will agree on. That's taking charge as being a leader, not the woman having to come and say, baby, we haven't been on vacation for a long time. Do you think? Well, I don't know where I want to go. You know, taking charge. Right? That's basically it. Doing what we got to do. You know, like. When you're a man, you do what you got to do. You take the charge. You take the lead. It's your money. You paying. Da, da, da. If you gotta, if your woman has to wait around and ask you for stuff all the time because you're not leading them enough to, um, you know, make you're not making major decisions enough for them to be surprised or wooed anymore. As soon as somebody else takes the lead, you're you're out of there. A lot of men don't realize that as soon as another man come along and start taking the lead, it, they might turn a woman on. Okay, so don't don't lose your spot. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't lose your spot if you're indecisive and let her do everything. Because as soon as somebody say, you know what? I got you. Let's go where you want to go. Let's go now. I was thinking this, but, you know, if you don't like that, we could talk. But I, I already got you. Let's go. We're going at 8 o'clock. Be ready. You might just lose your spot. <laughs> so that's also another reason why it's important for the man to leave. Because if he don't, he's going to lose his spot. Um, stand in your feminine ground. Yes, J nine in the house. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Lulu Bunny in the house. Thank y'all for being members. So, <laughs> oh God, it's wild red. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Everyone should have their sheer seven level up journal and pen your class. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes, y'all can get that on my website, Level Up Cosmetics. It's linked at the top. You love a man who leads, but... Okay, you love a man who leads you, but also who has respect for you. Of course. Most, most men who you allow... Now, listen to this. That you allow to lead are going to have respect for you. Because at any moment, you don't have to let them lead. That's the beauty of it. You can pull back at any moment and say no as a, you know, as a woman. You can say, you know what? No, I don't think so. You could take it all back in one sentence, but you don't want to do that unless you have to. Unless they ain't not, aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Those are privileges to be leaders. You know, that's why, you know, when people elect politicians, they have to get their vote. They have to tell them what they want to hear. They got to do what they want them to do. Oh, <laughs> oh Tanny, sprinkle, sprinkle. So think of it as like electing an official to do the job and putting in effort and taking initiative to get stuff done. And when they don't, then, you know, revoke, take it, take it away. Thank <laughs> you.
You say he's hurting you. He knows that I care about him. That's probably why he hurt you, girl. Stop caring. Mm -hmm. When you care more about someone and you allow them to hurt you, you don't love yourself. Okay. Because if you have problems with this, I don't know. I don't know if you have a problem with this. Now, listen, if you have a problem with putting other people before you and allowing them to hurt you because you love him. Imagine if that was a, if you were a child, someone's child, because you are. Or imagine if you have a daughter or a son and whoever they're with is hurting them. But they come to you, but I love him. All right. Well, how are you going to feel about that? Are you going to be mad? Are you going to be upset? Are you going to say, you know what? Well, you need to fix that and he needs to stop hurting you or you need to leave. You know, you got to you got to have that attitude. You have to be your own parent sometimes. Because otherwise you're going to look stupid in the relationship. OK. <laughs> stupid. Now, there ain't nothing worse than a stupid looking woman in a relationship. OK. When everybody sees her and laughs because she's stupid for being there. OK. Um, how do you get to the point where you don't need to ask a man for money or whatever? He just offers it to you on his own. When y'all are together, when he's invested enough money in you and he knows the routine. <laughs> He know the routine, okay? You got to get him. You got to train him first, girl. Then he'll just be saving that money for you, putting it on direct deposit if you really want to keep it going. <laughs> he said, do men like when a girl is jealous or possessive over him? No, it's very childish. <laughs> Oh, there, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just you can you can act a little bit jealous just to pique their interest, but then don't stay that way. Just like, oh, you know, you can stay in a joking way. Like, oh, I'm so jealous. Because I want you all to myself. You know, make it sound a little bit fake, but he don't know a hundred percent that you're just joking. But real jealousy is insecurity. Oh, there, sprinkle, sprinkle. You just bought all of my books. Thank you, girl. Happy birthday, sis. Thank you for knowledge. Thanks for talking to us, young ladies. Thank you for the donation and buying my books. I appreciate you. Yes, jealous women are just insecure. Because if you are all that and you know you can go out and do better, you shouldn't be jealous of anybody. <laughs> okay, like, and jealousy could not, jealousy could be mistaken for, you know, energy, like time. Like, somebody could be jealous of, what time you're spending with someone versus why you're not spending it with them. It doesn't it may not have anything to do with the person itself. So for example, it might just be a priority issue. So make sure you're not confusing jealousy with priority. Okay. There you go. Because, you know, you don't want to look insecure. Okay. Shira, you still get emotionally, okay, Shira, you still get so emotionally react to his inconsideration. He leaves me to do it all for our toddlers. What? And is there to pay bills. Who cares what he thinks? Just start to look at him like that if he gets on your nerve. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It didn't do what you want. He's... If he's not going to be able to lead you properly because you don't trust him and he doing wrong, just at least get his money. OK, replace him. Replace that side of your relationship with somebody else and just let him continue to pay them bills. OK, sparkle, sparkle. he ain't got to know. All right. <laughs> I only say that because I'm not finna argue with no dude. I'm not finna get you to act right. Either you act right or somebody else is going to act right. OK, how you doing? <laughs> Girl, start to level up and look good everywhere you go. He's going to act right. Every time you leave the house, no matter what, you better look really good. Then he'll start acting better, okay? Because he know you up to no good. <laughs> or that you could be up to no good if you wanted to. What should I respond when a guy asks me, what is the main content of my current job? None of his business. 
Um, Jen, just say something very bland, like customer service, or I work from home on the computer. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm in sales. I work online or, you know, nonprofit. I really am not at liberty to say because I signed a confidentiality contract. Girl, I. <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle, how to deal with single shaming. Um, I, honestly, only the person that is receiving the shaming allows shaming. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't feel like people should be shamed for being single. Is You're just waiting to find whoever it is that is going to find you. So I don't think it's anything wrong being single. I wouldn't, I would just ignore it because I don't care. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, well, I'm single to mingle. Sparkle, sparkle. Um, back in my day, being single wasn't a bad thing. It was fun. So what are y'all talking about? <laughs> okay. I hate when guys asked about my work. Yeah, don't don't bother. A, a, a real leader don't ask about your work because he don't care because he's he gonna, he's planning on leading you anyway. So whatever you do for a living, that's just for you. But a real leader don't care what you do as long as it's legal or, you know, whatever moral standing that you guys both have. He don't care about your money, baby. He doesn't care about, you know, all of that. He may ask you what your interests are and if you like your job or work or whatever. And then he may be like, well, you don't have to work there anymore. If you don't want to, I got you. That's that, you know, that's a leader. He wouldn't care so much if he's not trying to build on your back. A leader won't ask for going 50-50 either. A leader won't ask you to pay nothing because then he's not a leader anymore. How do you tell your ex if he comes back and wants to be friends, but you want a relationship? Honestly, friends are a waste of time if you're not benefiting from them. So if he can't really benefit you as an ex, like a man can benefit you in a relationship, then what's the point? Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. If he's going to be a friend... With financial benefits, come on in. If he's not, goodbye. <laughs> okay, people ain't got time for friends. Your ex want to be your friend so he can keep an eye on you before you get you a new man. Girl, just move on. <laughs> okay. You attract submissive older men that pay for me. You get more money. And you're being very confident and dominant. Well, some old men like that, especially if they have a lot of money. Sometimes they're the boss and they like you to be submissive. But I'm talking to the ladies that are you know, maybe trying to get into any type of marriage or relationship. Sometimes and if the man is not responding the way you want him to, let him lead and Allow him to be in his masculine if he's not already in his masculine so that you can be in your feminine. So those old men, they've already been in a masculine. They've already worked. They got that AARP. They probably almost about to retire. You know, they just going to let you take their money and spend it. That's pretty much easy. OK, I'm talking to the women who want like, you know, to be in a relationship where the man allows you to be feminine. That man allows you to have access to all his money. And y'all want to role play? Y'all go ahead. It's fun to switch it up if he got money. Only sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's called a kink. When you're rich enough to have that type of kink, then go go with it, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. It's a blonde wig, okay? If you look good in it, everything is okay. If it, if if people looking at you like who did it and why, take it off, baby. I don't know what to tell you because only you could judge that by, you know, only only other women. Ask other women, maybe post a picture up first and see the response. Then you'll know. Uh oh. Sprinkle, sprinkle, thank you. 
Teram Kelly, Sprinkle Sprinkle, I hope I'm saying your name right. You caught a live. Thank you for all the game you're teaching, Shira. You are a true queen. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you. Appreciate it. How you deal with a mom who can't be happy for you? Stop caring. All You know what? Y'all care too much. Y'all care too much about what other people think. Yes, it's your mom, but who cares? If she ain't going to be happy, she ain't going to be happy. That doesn't stop you from being happy. That doesn't stop you from moving on. It's your life. She gave birth to you. She gave you life. Take your life and live it. That's it. Who cares if she can't be happy? A lot of people can't be happy for other people because they don't feel like they lived the life that they wanted. That's why I'm telling y'all, stop doing that. Go care what you think about. That way, when you have kids, you are going to be happy for them because you already lived your life. Okay. Most, most people that can't be happy for you didn't get their chance to live their life the way they wanted to. So go live yours the way you want to so you don't continue the cycle, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> and stop caring what other pe people think. You don't live to please your mom. You live to do what you got to do. You can respect your mother. You can say, well, I respect your opinion, but, you know, I'm going to do what I got to do. Period. Love you, mom, but, you know, I don't live to please you. <laughs> okay. Um, he's making another chick feel special while I'm suffering in silence. Well, go make another man feel special, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> and stop suffering in silence and go have fun. You know, you have free will. Y'all are so silly. Like, you don't know the answer to that. Sophie B, sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, I, I think most men want to go do that. They want to make other women feel special because they don't feel special enough at home. And they want the approval of other women without the knowledge of how bad of a person that they really are. So that woman probably doesn't know him to the extent that you do. So to her, she, he's probably all that, but you know all his secrets. <laughs> so that's why another reason why, you know, if you um, are in that type of relationship, yeah, okay, go, go find you somebody to make you feel special. And then, you know, if y'all want to try it again, do it the right way, allow him to leave <laughs> or continue doing what you got to do. She would told me not to be looking like who did it and why my man got mad at me and I went to got cute and he instantly was mad, wasn't mad anymore. Thanks, girl. See, I told you. Oh, Tanny. Yeah, you can't be looking around being mean and ugly. You got to pick a struggle. You got to get leveled up and go be mean. <laughs> um, thank you. Hi. Thank you. She really helped my confidence. <laughs> What can you tell a man if he asks why you've never been married and you're 40? <laughs> um, you can say you were you were engaged and he moved out of the country. Um, you could lie. You ain't got to give him the real reason. There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's what I have a hard time with, making him feel special without being a pick me or Barbara the Builder tips. Lie. You got to lie. You, Take things that you know he's good at, that he'll believe, and compliment him on there. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, you know, you're so creative. Oh, you're so strong. Just lie. And it doesn't have to be something super important. It's just little things. You're so strong. You're so amazing. What would I do without you? You're such a good this or a good that. <laughs> you know, even if it's a lie, just say it, say it. It's not being a pick me show if you don't really mean it and you're doing it to get responses, you know, and money. All right. <laughs> you say the other women like Western men see modern women as something special and have obligation. Um, Well, Western women are special. That's why we have the uh, reputation that we do. <laughs> okay. We are the most wanted women in the world, period. 
Western women because we don't care what you think. We're going to do what we got to do. And you're going to love us regardless because men always want what they can't have. <laughs> so that's why we got that reputation. Mm -hmm. They all lie about their status and age and we can lie too. Exactly. If a guy rejects you and ends things for commitment issues, should I delete his contact and move on? Is that okay for to be his backup if he's old, rich bunny? The pro the reason why he probably can't commit is either he's married or about to marry somebody else, and you're just gonna be on the side. So as long as he's sending that money, you can keep a little side space for him, and you can go date whoever you want. You know, if he, if you're his side piece, be he can be your side piece. <laughs> What's funny, you know? You're having trouble living at home with your mother. I don't have enough for a new apartment yet, and I have no sugar daddy. What shall I do? Work, 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 work. Girl, be gone and go work all the time. Go out after work just to uh, freestyle. And stack your money and go out at the same time. If you make more money before you find a sugar daddy, then you know what you're doing. But if you don't want to be there, then get your money or get your sugar daddy. But you got to go keep trying to get one of them or both of them at the same time. You never know. Um, honestly, if you just get a quote unquote night job, you can literally just go out whenever you want. Say you working. <laughs> um, if you have a sugar daddy. But honestly, I don't know how old you are, but try to work around her schedule so that y'all aren't there at the same time if you're having problems, okay? Like when you know she's going to be home, leave. When you know, um, yeah, just don't be there when she gets there. Or stay super busy so that y'all don't have to argue or be bothered with each other. Um, if a man doesn't want to lead a woman... My friend lights were about to get cut off and the pretty man who she's in love with told her, I don't know what to tell you. Ugh, disgusting. <sighs> that should be a turnoff right there and stop any woman from trying to date somebody looking better than her. <laughs> if a family house. Okay, hold on. Is it okay to lie about my age? You're 30, look 20. Girl, if you're 30, be 30. Okay, here's my thing. If if you look 23 and you say you're 30, you're more attractive. Okay? Because if you say you're 23 and you only think you look 23 and he thinks you look 30, he going to think you look old for your age and you've been through the ringer. So I wouldn't lie about that much of an age gap. If you're 30, you can say you're 29. <laughs> or you can say you're in your late 20s. That's more believable because you may not look 23 to him. <laughs> he might have just been out with a 23-year-old yesterday. So if you feel like you're old and don't want to really be the age that you are, then say 29 at least, okay? Then he'll be like, you look good for your age. Or I thought you were 23. See, that's a better compliment. If you say you're 29 or almost 30, he'll be like, no, you look 23. That's better, you see. <laughs> um, it's a red flag if he follows random girls on Instagram. He's very good at everything else. Y'all need, ooh, you know what? I had the same issue. Earlier, like when I had a lot of new subscribers, if those women don't live in the same city as he does, who cares what he's liking on Instagram? They're men. You, would you rather him like other men's pictures? <laughs> they are men. You can't stop a man from clicking like, baby. You can't. They gonna click like, period. I got, if I pulled up my Instagram and show you all the married men that didn't click like on my stuff, my pictures. They woman can't do nothing. All I'm saying is there's nothing you can do about that. Just let it be. You can't control everything. You can't. 
And once you realize that, you'll be happier because you have a like button too. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. You got a like button too. And you got an Instagram and you can go click on anything you want. And chances are you are going to get a better response than he probably will. If those girls are pretty, how many other men are clicking like? Why is he special? You know what I'm saying? If all these women on Instagram had a choice and who they want to respond to, why are they going to pick your man? Does he look good? Does he have money? Is he sending them cash apps or just cl clicking like? So I feel like we can't do that. It's too insecure. I don't care what you like it on Instagram. As long as you put money in my account, pay any bills. All right. <laughs> Hold on, go look the cat out. Sorry, y'all. The cat wanted out. So, what age do you accept a marriage? with provider you're 22 you're saying too young but i don't know date him for a couple of years girl then decide if he's worth it okay <laughs> you can look one way and act another they can tell they can't well sometimes they can tell sometimes they can't if you're really good sure is right let them be surprised by your age exactly don't like don't lie because then that means you think you old and you insecure and you feel like these younger women are you got something on you. Like, it's going to give insecurity. So I wouldn't lie about age. Mm hmm You say your husband disappear at night and at times and be gone for 24 hours. What should I do? <laughs> Girl, use that time to go out. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You know he ain't coming back, so you free too. Okay, like, oh, he ain't coming back. I know he ain't going to return tonight, so let me go get my my outfits together. Okay, so here's my thing. Y'all, okay, this may be an issue. It doesn't have to be. That's your free time, too. Mm-hmm. You said disappear, too. Like, what you going to do? Girl, as soon as, he, as soon as he starts showing you the signs, he's getting ready to disappear, get your outfits together. What you doing? All right. You never tell my age when a guy asks, I say over 21, and it drives them crazy. <laughs> you need to know what to do when he looks at women in front of me. Girl, and have a bad attitude all day and don't say what's wrong. Girl, stop caring. Here's my thing. Why are you getting mad? Men have eyeballs. Would you prefer it if he were blind and couldn't see? <laughs> you said look at other men yeah look at other cars don't look at other men look at other men's cars that that's worse because just because they look good don't mean they gonna do nothing for you but if you're looking at their car oh he dropped a nice car it's it's emasculating <laughs> so um like stop if he's if he's being very disrespectful with looking at other women when he's with you then he don't respect you OK, if it's subtle and it's not that bad, then it's natural. You said he should only see me. Then walk in front of him, girl. Put some horse blinders on him and walk in front of him. That, that's all. If that's what you want him to only see. <laughs> or maybe only go to places with all ugly women or men. OK, but you can't stop a man from looking. Girl, what if I walk by? He going to look. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You see how silly it is now? All right. Anyway. Girl, if I walk in the, up in a place, it's a wrap, you know. He gonna look. He might not do nothing, but he is gonna look. Because, I, you know, I didn't do all of this to not get looked at. Women shouldn't be jealous of men looking at other women. If those women put in work to look good, they're supposed to be looked at. I know I'd be mad if nobody looked at me. <laughs> so stop doing that you know it's okay um there's too many words about okay y'all must be young 
Y'all must be young. If y'all ain't young, then y'all haven't grown up. And the reason why I say y'all must be young is because y'all are too young to realize you can't control what a man looks at. You can't control what they like on Instagram. You're never going to be able to do it. Stop trying now. You wasted energy, stressing yourself out over nothing, and you're never going to control them. And the more you try to control them, the more they're going to see you as masculine and insecure, and they're going to go find some other chick. Okay, so stop. I'm, I'm trying to help y'all. <laughs> Uh oh, Kimberly, thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Uh oh, Helena, you think your mom stole your man? Your provider man stopped texting me back after my mom been calling him and texting him, and they're similar in age. Either she told him to stop messing with you because you're too young, or she stole him, girl. Sprinkle Sprinkle. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, but that is hilarious because your mom must look good, girl. Um, if she looked good, she might have stole them. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, but thank you for giving me the donation. I, I don't know what to tell you. How's your mom? Oh, Kayla, sprinkle, sprinkle. Your boyfriend got drunk at his birthday and ranted about how he sees me as a bill and that he has sneaky link and he pays all my bills and bought me two cars and for my business. Should I be mad? No, girl. At least you know now. So when you want to upgrade on something or when you need something else, you could say, you can bring up, you know, you say you want sneaky link. So now you owe me this. You go another bill. Honestly, if he's doing all that for you and he's on Sneaky Link and da 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 da, and he's who cares? Who cares? You could be on Sneaky Link too and getting all he got to give. You, you <laughs> okay? Think about that. You could be on it too, or you could go date someone else while he's still paying all them bills. And but you're not gonna be stupid enough to tell him. <laughs> all right. You said stole my dusty if you want. I don't care. She was correct. If it's only natural for a man to look at a beautiful woman. Yes. As long as he is attentive and respectful and paying bills, don't be jealous. Exactly. You say your man leaves, you'll go leave on vacation alone too exactly y'all have to stop playing the victim and start seeing opportunities where there's problems like you're saying your man don't do this he don't come home he do this who do okay use that as your free time to go do what you really want to do or that you feel like you need to do don't sit there and get mad because if he already is doing that to you then you know why are you sitting there suffering when you could be doing something about it or doing what you want to be doing and if you're in the relationship you don't want to do anything, but he wants to, then it's unbalanced. You know, it's unbalanced because if he's out there doing wrong or sneaking around or whatever, that means he secretly just gave you permission to do the same. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He might, he don't want to tell you, but he, he know, you know, so you might as well go do what you got to do. <laughs> Mm hmm. And he's not going to ask you where you been, because then that means you got to ask him where he been. So guess what? Ooh. To avoid the argument, he's not going to even bother. All right. <laughs> you think people are falling in love with these men and that's the problem. It is the problem because they didn't fall in love with you. Obviously, you know, a lot of these men aren't in love with y'all who got married. Y'all are just the domestic help. Some of y'all and y'all don't even realize it, especially if you're cooking and cleaning. I, you know, I've been scrolling through, tic, I mean, not TikTok. I've been scrolling through Instagram and I see these Instagram posts where these girls are in, be in the kitchen cooking and they man behind them, hugging them. These girls, they're not leveled up at all, but they in there frying all this food and making these big plates and, and whatnot. You know, he cheating on her. That's just his cook slash wife, slash housekeeper. Because that same man over there, out there, doing whatever he got to do with somebody else, that's really his type. All he did was put a ring on a 50-50 chick 
that gonna cook and clean for him. Okay. Exactly. She cooked good food. She 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 armed my draws. She a good woman. Okay. That's the kind of get cheated on left and right. They only come home for dinner and then after they eat and get a shower, they back out looking for something else. Okay. You know it. <laughs> Stop being that one. Okay. Uh-oh, the peaches in the house, sprinkle, sprinkle. They come home. I love you, baby. I had a hard day. I miss you. What you got for dinner? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Me and the boys want to go get a drink. We'll be right back. We're going out. After they eat, they go out, meet up with the other girl or go out in a bar and pretend they're single. And then they come home, <laughs> go to work, and do it all again the next day. Mm -hmm. It's like I would not be like some some women just feel like they just want a man and they don't care. So if that's what y'all have been reduced to, then, you know, don't complain. <laughs> don't complain if that's what you accept. Uh oh, Taisha, sprinkle, sprinkle. Men know I don't want to be around them. So they put in work to keep me around. Right. You'd be gone when he came back. I'd be gone and come back later than he would. Child. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> what is the last, the least age or the last age? 110, child. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Should a wife check phone bill to see if he's texting women? No. Honestly, this is what I keep. If you want to. If you're looking for a new car, check the phone bill, baby. When if you're not looking for nothing, don't find it. Okay. If you you need a new car, start checking stuff so you can have a reason. Okay. Only reason you check stuff is when you need something. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't check his phone bill if you know he ain't got the money to buy you what you really want. Wait till he gets his income tax check. Then you'll go check it. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. If you got money year round, then check it anytime and get your get whatever you're trying to get. Okay. <laughs> don't don't confront him with it right away. Just figure out what you want. Get all the links together so you can send it to him. Practice how you're gonna present the information, how you're gonna fake cry until you get what you want. Okay. If he's cheating, then he need to pay. Okay. See, a lot of men will cheat and figure you're going to leave him for a few days and then come back or y'all, he's you're going to separate and all this kind of stuff. Or he's going to, you know, lie and try to get away with it and you're going to be so gullible to believe him. Um, no, you got to make them pay. They got to come out that pocket, baby. It's not enough anymore. And for you to allow them to stay there, you cut them off in the bedroom. But for you to allow them to stay there after they gave you some money, or bought you something, lets them know that you care less. And you just bought what you could get at this point. And now they feel like you don't even love them anymore. You're not, they're not special to you anymore. So they're going to try to win you back emotionally because now you've become detached and only financially like them. <laughs> okay. So get the money. It, it goes a long way. It does more than you think. How to avoid falling in love when you are sleeping with your man. Have some other ones. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> the more you have, the less it's likely you will fall in love. Or you won't fall in love as deeply with whoever because you'll have options. <laughs> like when you start to think about one, you got to think about the other one too. Like, wait a minute. I like if They were only all one person. <laughs> all right. Um, and the reason I say that is because that's one of the ways that men do that. They have more than one. That way they don't fall. You said, so basically be a slut. No, basically be a man. You know, um, you could be feminine, but still make the same choices and decisions as a man would in order to avoid certain things. So you're in, instead of using emotion, you just use logic in that situation <laughs> you don't have to sleep with all of them you could just have one that spends money have one that talks to you and listens to you have one that makes you feel special 
you know, that way you're not going to fall too deep. Okay. <laughs> Act like a woman, think like a man. Uh -huh. Some women only want men to show him in public. Mm-hmm. You said slit. <laughs> and don't be that woman that says he's my everything. You need to be your everything. Exactly. I would never say that about somebody unless I was lying. <laughs> Act like a man. You don't have to sleep with all of them. Love Exactly. Not sure, though, because women are wired differently. We literally release hormones when we get into it. That's true. That's why if you release hormones and get intimate with somebody, and you, you may have an attachment to them. But if they lack in other areas, you can't really fall in love. That's what will stop you. <laughs> so if you have someone that's really good in one area, like paying the bills, and someone that you've slept with or whatever, you're going to wait them options like money, sprinkle, sprinkle, <laughs> bills paid, okay, because that feels better. Oh, Kimberly, sprinkle, sprinkle, he already gives me money, takes me to expensive restaurants, takes me shopping, always tells you to get whatever you want, says yes every time I ask for money. How do I get him to pay all my bills for the month? Get all your bills together and start crying and hand it to him. Or ask him for a certain amount of money and to have directly deposited in your account each month. So you can put all your bills on direct bill pay because all your money doesn't come in at once. And if you put all your bills on direct bill pay, you can build your credit score. <laughs> and since y'all are already together, you know, you really feel like if y'all are going to be exclusive, then he should be able to help you out. Like, cause that's what exclusivity should mean. Like, he should be able to pay them bills. Uh oh, Taisha, your birthday is Friday. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy early birthday. Yeah, that's okay. So you have one that pays the bills. You got one that you might have slept with. You got another one that does other things. So you can't a hundred percent fall in love with whoever because you're too busy saying, okay, well, this guy's doing a lot for me. So you are not going to fall as deep. So always have options. Okay. You pick one person and fall for them, you know, all at once, put all your energy into them. You're going to, you're going to be silly over them and you can't be that way. You got to have other options. Okay. Because they have other options. That's why you don't see a man acting all stupid and silly over women all the time because they already moved on. You held on to no sex for 10 months. And last weekend he cried saying, I'm not in him and wasting his time. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, well, time to get another one. Um, or lie. And tell him, you know what? I've been going through something and I didn't tell you. Tell him about how you lost Aunt Ethel before you met him. <laughs> Fake Aunt Ethel. Make up a person. I just haven't been in the mood because of that. But I was getting there. I was almost there. When, sure, when does he deserve the goods if he pays for everything? When them bills are on direct pay and you don't pay none of your bills, baby. You don't pay them bills. Or when he's invested enough money into you to where if he left you the next day, you would still be winning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he's invested enough money into you to where if he was dumb enough to leave behind all the things that he's invested in you after one night, you're still good because you have more than it, you know, you have more whatever he got you or money spent on you than, you know, before you met him. So he's improved your life upon exit. <laughs> um, if he hasn't improved your life upon exit, then, you know, of course you, you shouldn't have been giving it up. How to get him to start paying the bills. Ask him. Ask him in a nice feminine way. I said, you know, I really like you and I really need help. If you don't mind, could you help me pay some of my bills this month? I really need your help. And just give him the little baby baby doll eyes and rub on his leg and see what he do, girl. Make him pay it right then and there if he says yes. Like get, whip out the computer or the tablet and put yourself on automatic bill pay and enter his info. All right. <laughs> 
<clears throat> or let him do it if he don't trust you. When should you start asking? Yeah, they should all be offering, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Like a, you said, Nordstrom's having a big sale. Go, go, go. Uh oh, Taisha, sprinkle, sprinkle. She said, Nordstrom having a sale. You know, okay. Um, happy shopping. No matter how much money you have, never ever pay a bill. Don't get them used to that. Exactly. Stop. Stop trying to flex when you're supposed to be receiving. <laughs> Get your money. Shira, why most rich men play a lot of mind games? It's because they have a lot of options. No, it's because you allow them to. Uh, if you tell them, you, you know what? I'm not about to play this game. If you want me, you know where I am. If not, good luck. Peace out. Do what you got to do. Because just like a rich man has a lot of options, so does an attractive woman. You know, it's the it's equal. <laughs> So if they really like you, they're not going to do that. They're going to, they're going to, you know, chase. If they have other options and they don't like you that much or you're not that special to them, they're not. So it depends on, you know, how special you are to them. Okay. You recently met a guy. You want me to move in with him? Should I? I'm not sure if he will take care of me. Then don't move, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you're not sure, then you don't do it. I'm not moving into nobody's house unless they definitely paying for everything and more. <laughs> Your boyfriend moved me and your daughter in with him. He pays all the bills, but I've missed treating him from the start. You, you've been mistreating him from the start. How do I turn it? Him, I'm appreciative. Um, <laughs> tell him. All you got to do is tell him. Tell him in a sincere way and thank him. If that's because that's that's enough most of the time. Okay. <laughs> Is he a leader if he does same thing for me? He does for his broke friends. He loves me a lot, but it is special enough. Or a provider man. Um I think he should be doing a little bit more than he does for his friends for you. So you need to demand a little more. You need to let him know that you need a little bit more. You need to mention all the things you like, what you really expect, and do it in a nice way, you know. But you do need to let him know that you need a little bit extra, baby. He said, it like, does he send his friends money too? Does he pay his friends bills? Because he needs to be paying your bills, baby. Or spending money on you. You said you cut this man off the other day. He said, I do for you and you don't at least wash my dishes knowing I worked a hard day of work. You don't appreciate me. What else to do? Girl, break them dishes before you leave. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> drop them. Pretend like you finna wash them, then drop them. Like, oh, bye. Um, do you need a housekeeper? Exactly. He he must he mistook you for the housekeeper, lady. Um, that, that's what you don't want. I'm like, I don't think so. They'll call somebody. Then when you date the frugals, ugh, and end up almost puking in your mouth and having him tell you women think he is handsome. No man, oh fuglies. I thought you said frugals. I was equally disgusted. No man thinks he is ugly. <laughs> okay. I need to talk to him. Okay, hold on. You struggled in a difficult job your whole youth and dated Dusty's. You feel so sad. Nobody told me. Now I'm 27. It's not too late, girl. Get it on. Get your level up on and go get you a sugar daddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> How to level up and be unstoppably confident. That's number one, y'all. Y'all realize. Stop caring what people think. Confidence is when you don't care what others think, but you only care about what you think about yourself. And you think highly of yourself because you love yourself. Okay, that's how. <laughs> okay. This dude tried to gangster me into seeing him. 
Girl, I don't even know how that is. Tell me what happened. You going to see me. <laughs> he said, right now. And I said, okay, bye. Girl, he better have some money. How is how to gold dig in a poor country move or use the internet to dig virtually to other countries or find rich people in the poor country, business owners maybe. Um, you said stop caring is the best sheer advice you ever got. Yes, it is. Y'all care too much. Why do y'all care? They're not paying no bills. Y'all. Most of the people that you care about the opinions of don't care after they've given their opinion. They're on to the next thought. Your current boyfriend stated he will be paying all the bills and move us to a better spot and told me to save all my money. Good for you, D. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Shira is a rich convicted felon is a no-no. Um, if a rich convicted felon tells you he's a rich convicted felon, it is up to you to um, date him. But if not, if he didn't tell you, then, you know, you could research on your own. To but uh, wouldn't you have issues trusting him? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh-oh, Lulu Bunny, sprinkle, sprinkle. Only internet trolls say women in her 30s is old. That's true. They just can't afford women in their 30s because we have higher standards. Uh, I think he'll tell... what. So what better save money, live with your mother to move into an apartment on your own? I'm not spending nobody. I'm not spending money. I'm not. Look, I'm going to live rent free. for. <laughs> okay. I've saved mine. My dad used to tell my mom not to wear skirts, but he left her for a more feminine woman. Oh, Daisy. Well, you know, that's because he didn't want men looking at her, girl. She should have wore just to make a man. <laughs> um, what should we start working out now to get our summer body? Do whatever you want, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He is 15 years older than me and he is fine, but still deciding about him. OK, well, I'm going to need him to have some money, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Um, I want him to pay me by side main dude. Okay. Well, get your money here. I tell him he's interested and now isn't. How do I get him to chase again? You don't, you just move on. That's how they chase you when you don't care and you move on. That's when they want you the most sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. You start going out with other men and ignoring them and letting them figure out that they're going to have to chase you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, uh oh, Ruby star in the house. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to stop overthinking about relationships. Think about something else. Maybe figure out what you're going to do tomorrow or on the weekend or plan something. You know, that's the best way to get your mind off of certain things because if you're excited about something like the future, then you're not going to be busy looking in the past. OK. Or if it's a current relationship, you're not going to be over analyzing everything if you're just able to enjoy it for what it is. Don't ever think of it as like something permanent. Think of it as something fun or something interesting or a way to pay these bills. OK. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't ever think about it for more than what it is. How to ask a man to rent you an apartment in another state we only met on video call. Um, ask him. He might say yes, girl. I mean, that's the only way you're going to be able to ask him is to ask him. Or tell him you're about to be kicked out of yours. Maybe he'll do it to save you, girl. <laughs> All right. What if you're embarrassing being seen with your sugar daddy? Then go somewhere dark at night late sprinkle sprinkle uh, if you like honestly i really wouldn't care because i'm the, i don't care what other people think <laughs> mm -hmm.
you shouldn't care too much. If you care that much, it means you care what other people think of you. Um, what is your opinion on a mother-in-law trying to ruin your relationship because she's jealous? I would call it right out. As soon as you call a person jealous, they stop doing what they're doing. Because now they have to worry about you thinking they're jealous every time they do a certain thing. So you just need to call it out straight up. Like, you know what? I really think you're just jealous because you don't want your son to have a good relationship with me. And you're trying to sabotage it. And I really don't appreciate it. So I would just tell them straight up, I don't care. <laughs> like, or I roll my eyes every time she said something silly i'm like or i make snide comments like you know it must be hard being a mother to to such and such letting him go <laughs> if he was my son i wouldn't want to let him go either but you know eventually it's gonna happen <laughs> call her out on it I'll just call her out like analyze what she's doing and she'll stop How do you get a guy to pay your college tuition? Ask him. Tell him, tell him you've been uh, disowned and you have no way to pay. <laughs> Lie. Amber, sprinkle, sprinkle, thank you, Shira, for helping me level up, level my dusty mitt. What? Left your dusty and met, start dating a new man before Valentine's Day. You're 38, he's 46, put me on weekly allowance and already talking marriage. Girl, sprinkle, sprinkle, good for you. Congrats. Check his background, baby. Just in case I tell that to everyone. Thank you, girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. But congrats and thank you for the donation. Always check his background if marriage is all of a sudden, okay? How do you divert when they give you assignments to do? Assignments. I don't take no assignments. I'm not in school. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, it's this assignment is to go shopping. I'm, I could do it. The other assignments don't get done. <laughs> How to know if a rich family background, mama's boy, a and provider, he buy me stuff. If his dad's a leader, he's most likely going to be a leader. So ask him about his father and see what he does when you ask him to take charge of a situation. Like if there's ever a problem, ask him to just solve it and say, you know, I really can't deal with this. Can you can you solve this issue? Can you solve this problem? And see if he'll take it. When stuff goes wrong or there's things need to be solved. He gave you only two fifty for the first date. How do we get him to pay more? Tell him every little bit helps, and thank you so much for his contribution. <laughs> every little bit helps. That means he'll probably give you more if it's not enough. When they ask you to do secretarial stuff and help them with their business, um. I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, only if you're making money out of it. If he's got you on the payroll and he's paying you, I'm not doing it. All right. <laughs> All right. Are we together or business partners at that point? Exactly. Um, I don't know if I would do it or feel comfortable doing it. I would say, you know, I really don't feel comfortable doing work for your business because if I mess something up, I don't want you to get mad at me. And I don't like mixing business and pleasure. Just say it like that. And I'd rather not just for our relationship. Okay. Uh, what if he is giving me designer clothes from his wife's closet? <laughs> You're going remind me of that sister act movie. And they gave that dude gave Whoopi his wife Mink's coat, his wife's mink coat, but she took it anyway. 
<laughs> a mess. Okay. It sounds a little weird and dusty to me, but okay. <laughs> How do I trick him into wanting a committed relationship? By not wanting a committed relationship and acting like you don't even want one. And always saying, you know, things about your future that doesn't include him. <laughs> you have to reverse psychology on, on that. Y'all about to remain single. Passport is a blessing. Yes. Go ahead. And go where your money's worth more because it ain't worth more here. <laughs> you know, if you want to feel like a king, go where your money is king. Because the amount you're making, if you don't, you're not king here. <laughs> okay. Going to a, another country is basically like flipping their money. They have to start out with what they got. And then when they, as soon as they get on the plane, they money flipped as soon as they land. Okay. You know, that's how I look at it. Y'all are just money flippers with a passport. Your money ain't worth nothing here to us. So you go somewhere and where it is worth. So you just a money flipper to me. I mean, it's a smart idea, but I don't feel like, <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea. I'm not lying. Go flip your money. <laughs> y'all, y'all been waiting on, look, what do they call it? Just, just go flip your money, okay? Go where your money is worth 10 times is what it's worth here, okay? Go live like a king. We good with that. <laughs> Have fun. Send us a postcard, okay? Okay. They take their flights and can't make it back. Oh, my God. But make sure you put some to where you can't touch it, like, Give give enough to get back to your mama, just in case somebody gets you over there too. Okay. All right. <laughs> you say you feel yourself falling for him. How do you stop caring so much? Get another one too, baby. Have two. Have three. That's how. Go on a date with someone else. All right. If you're in a 50-50 marriage with kids and he cheats sometimes, would you cheat too? Girl, if he in a if <clears throat> if I'm paying bills, I'm and you you then y'all are just roommates, baby, with kids. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all are not y'all are just simply roommates with kids and y'all are dating. That's all y'all, that's all y'all doing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But y'all got to cut, y'all got to break on them taxes, though. That's pretty much it. Okay. Anything about bro sounds dusty anyway. Yes. Um, how about sir? <laughs> you know, put some respect on your names. I guess passport sirs sound a little gay. <laughs> and some of them be, I ain't even going there. Some of y'all passport bros be going out the country for other reasons. <laughs> Period. All right. Y'all still got to pay for it. And that's even worse. He told me he doesn't want a relationship. I've been there, but dating other men. Okay. Tell him you don't want a relationship either. You just want some money. I just like to be spoiled. You don't have to see me every day. Just make sure you, you know, sparkle, sparkle, send me some money. Um, do you know the book Shanghai Girls? Nope. Do I want to know it? <laughs> mm. You said George says he need a female business partner. There's a Pick Misha channel sir, on his YouTube. Go find one, baby. All right. 
After them, free rides to the airport passport bro should get one-way flights, no re-entry to the U.S. <laughs> no. Y'all are silly. I gotta go in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. The books say everything I say. Oh, well, thank you. Well, what I was saying about passport bro, bros. Um, all sad as hell. American men just take the one white flight to peace. Yeah, go take it. Go go take it where y'all money is worshipped and not you. Okay. Take your high American dollars and go to where you are worshipped. <laughs> your money is worshipped, excuse me, because they don't worship you. If you broke, they don't want you. Unless you go lie, tell them you're gonna marry for a green card. Honestly, you know, go go to your peace. Go to where your money is worth more. And I definitely agree with that. That's not being a leader. That's running away, literally. If you can't figure out how to make more money here and become a leader of a woman here, you got to go where somebody has already been trained culturally to be submissive with your little $2, then go do it. That's not a real leader. That's a, that's a cop out. <laughs> okay. That's the difference between saying, you know, um, I'm a king and, you know, I'm a knight or a soldier. <laughs> it's a difference. You can't you can't claim higher status if you have to go do all of that. You know, so you're not really a leader. You're just escaping and going to where people assume that you're some type of leader. But in your own country, you're not considered a leader. So do what you got to do. You know, you got to go feel like what it feels like to be a leader somewhere. And maybe it will inspire you to be a leader at home, too. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe to help y'all. You want that feeling again? Then you level up. Get your money right. Uh-huh. You said you don't lead with your. Then you ain't leading nowhere. Then. I ain't following nobody. I ain't got no money. Shoot, sprinkle, sprinkle, we're gonna lead them right to the poorhouse. <laughs> Who's following a dude with no money? I don't see nobody saying they are. I'm not following nobody who's not generous with me or giving me provisions. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> If your savings account is in a crown royal bag, ain't nobody following you. All right. You say, I don't leave with my wallet first. You see what you want to see. Well, then I, that's all I'm looking for. So I ain't see nothing. <laughs> okay. What kind of guy should we get married to? One that can afford marriage and a family and for you to stay home and not work and give you what you want. There you go. A provider. What? <laughs> what do I? If my provider man complains that I don't do enough for him and he's always on the one giving. Then do unnecessary things. <laughs> like. Instead of doing chores and all this like gifting and stuff, do stuff that get on his nerves and claim that you're doing things for him. <laughs> Like when he's watching TV, you know, walk in front of the TV and start sweeping in front of him or vacuuming or whatever. When he, when he's, you know, trying to do something like get in his way and say you're doing something for him, then he'll stop asking. OK. When he's getting ready to watch a good movie, start vacuuming or he'll tell you stop. Just don't even vacuum, just turn it on, act like you're getting ready to all right. You say you got multiple incomes yourself and whoever I'm with is far from poverty. I hustle. That's good. Then why can't you get why can't you get the type of woman you want in your own country? Because if you're doing all that, women like that in this country. But if it's not enough for us, then we don't like it. It's not enough. So uh, you basically just say it's still not enough. It's still not enough because if it was enough, you wouldn't have no problems. 
Like Jay-Z said, he got 99 problems, but a B ain't one, okay? He ain't got to go passport nowhere. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You ain't got to do all of that if you if if you got it like that. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I mean, I think it's good that you at least get to experience feeling a certain way. I don't feel like it's a bad thing, but I don't think it's anything to brag about. Like, if I were a man, I would keep that a secret. Like, if y'all are passport bros, don't tell nobody because you people lose respect for you because it means you can't get what you want here because you don't have enough money. All right. Like, just lie. Just say, I'm going on vacation. Don't tell nobody what you're doing. Just go on vacation. Make it look like you're going on vacation instead of being a passport bro because that's like, oh, he's broke. <laughs> okay. What if they think you're lazy? Your mom would say it's lazy. That's why. Don't stop. Being lazy is being feminine. Okay. It's lazy because you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be feminine. I told y'all, like, y'all's moms and grandmas were forced to work and be the man or do stuff. Or contribute. If you if you marry somebody that got money, they can hire me or you know put in work and you don't have to do everything. It's not lazy. You're just being feminine. If you cute, you can be lazy. If you cute, you can be lazy. Let me repeat that. If you cute, you can be lazy. Okay, girl, buy you some. <laughs> buy you a paper plate. Buy you some paper plates. Okay. Order DoorDash, no dishes, baby. If you cute, you can be lazy. If you ugly, you better get, up, get to work. Okay? That's why we talk about leveling up, looking cute. <laughs> there you go. If you cute, you can be lazy. You said, I'm not lazy. If you choose to be, that's all I'm saying. You don't have to. If somebody say, "Yo, you just stay home all day. You're lazy." Exactly. You want me to go? You want me to go uh, work for somebody? You want me to go find my work husband? Okay, because I I won't be lazy for him because he's paying me. <laughs> I'm on the clock. You want me to? You want me to go? All right. I'm. I'll, let me get my cute work outfit together. Let me get my heels, my short skirts. Let me go get in this workforce again. You know. <laughs> uh, nope. I'm not getting ready to be uh, doing the most. I had to cut the man I was dating off, and now I'm being pressured out of my house by evil birth mother, but still I rise and level up. Good for you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A guy I was dating flew me out twice. He got into an argument. Now he is expecting me to chase him. How should I handle it? Ghost. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Let him chase you. You're not supposed to be chasing no man, no matter what, even if it is your fault. If they don't miss you enough to uh, let you be right, then it ain't going to work out anyway. If they don't miss you enough to forgive you and let you be and, and let you be, then they don't want you anyway. It's not going to work out. If, if every argument you got to come crawling back, it's not going to work out because that's not the kind of woman you are. <laughs> okay, so why even bother? Send them a funny meme. If that don't work, then move on, baby. <laughs> you know, it's not worth it. They should apologize even when it's you that's wrong. Exactly. Because to me, like, yes, Lapeaches, because to me, it means they really like you and they don't want to fight with you. Even if you did wrong, they forgive you, baby. That's what you need. Otherwise, y'all are just childish. He need, he need to forgive you and if he really wants you. 
We are supposed to talk things out, but he hasn't made plans. I haven't texted back in two days. Then y'all ain't working nothing out, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Move on. You should be dating someone else by now. If you move quick, like they do, if you move fast, the next time something happens, they're going to work it out right then and there because they know how fast you move. You don't take, uh-uh. Well, you know what? I'm busy tomorrow. I have places to be. I got to go. What do you want? If you sit there and wait on them to to make things right with you, to do all of this stuff, you know, you should already been moved on. Like it's been like how many days? Two, three days. If they have not made plans to make it right, they don't want to. <laughs> they know you're going to be sitting around waiting and that's what they depend on. So don't do that. Don't ever sit around and wait on someone. Get on to the next. Okay. When one don't come through, call the other one. Do that. Because you know why? Because if they wanted, if they wanted to be with you, if they liked you enough, you wouldn't have to call the other one. All right? Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> you have a date night tonight and one on Friday. You moving on. Yes. Go ahead. She does sprinkle, sprinkle. Nothing you do is wrong for a man that really wants you. Exactly. Dusty love to tell us what other women do. Just go. They aren't even the target we want. Uh, exactly. Don't compare us to Pick Misha. If she's cooking and cleaning and washing your dirty drawers, good for her. Okay? <laughs> that ain't us. <laughs> good for her. Congratulations. You found some domestic help. Wonderful. All right. Anyway, I got to go. Thank y'all so much for hitting the like button. Y'all hit that like button. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Okay. The, these dusties bragging on women, they won't even take out in public. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay, y'all have a good day. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all get my level up lip gloss. It's linked at the top. Y'all get all my books. It's in the description bar. Okay, that's my wish list. If y'all want to send me something for my birthday, I appreciate you guys. Bye, Sophie. Bye, La Peaches. Bye, Taisha. J9. Great. Well, let's see who else is in here. The members. All right, y'all. Y'all probably already gone. God is why I read. Bye. I'll see y'all on the next one. And y'all click the like button. It's free. Get them likes up. Likes, likes, likes. Likes, 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 likes. How to get men to lead during conversation. Ask them questions that they can talk a long time about the answer. All right. I'm going to see y'all on the next one.